these are two boxes which are the beginning of our pen and mini kit uh, adventure. Uh, we're trying to get a practice organ together for Laura and so this seems to be the most economical way to do it. At least it's certainly a way that we can afford to do. Um, and we just got these two boxes. There's still one box yet to come. Uh, these boxes have been shipped from Italy. Uh, the gentleman that we bought them off of uh, also makes organs, I believe, as well as kits to be assembled to make your own uh, practice organs. So we'll open these boxes up and then we'll have a look at what's inside. All right, here's everything that's in the, uh, the box, the big box. And the most important thing of all, the instructions, which we're going to need. Uh, looks like we've got a lot of little things here that we're going to need. I think these are the springs for the pedal board. Not sure what they are. Um, definitely this is the frame for the pedal board. And it's really gorgeous looking. Oh, wow. It's really something. And the pedals. So what we'll do is we'll take it out of the boxes, or out of the, the wrapping, and then we'll have a look and see what we've got. Well, here's the first piece out. Um, I would say these are probably all the little reeds, which are the, I believe, the contacts that when you press the pedals down, uh, these are the things that actually send the, uh, the MIDI signal. I guess they're just little triggers of some sort. Oh, it's really something, though. It's got uh, little compression pads and everything. It's, the wood is just beautiful. It's gorgeous wood. So far, I'm really impressed. All right, we got everything out of the bags. Um, the third box, which we haven't got so far, I think must have the, um, the, the pedals, um, the levers with the sharp combs on them, because uh, we haven't got the sharp combs. But we do have the little conversion boxes, which I think go from the 16-pin the on the, uh, the keyboards and the pedal board into... Uh, some sort of a system that converts it to USB, probably that uses the USB for the power. Uh, these look like the pins that are going to control the adjustment of how far the, the pedal levers go up and down. And here's all the screws and some spare reeds, but we ordered the uh, quick reed change uh, option. Uh, obviously it's going to get a lot of playing, so why not? Make it easier for yourself if you have to re replace them. Uh, the wood on the, the the pedals is just gorgeous. It's beautiful oak on the top, and the bottom looks like ponderosa pine. Um, seems to sit, have the figuring of ponderosa pine, but the oak is just gorgeous, straight as a straight as an arrow, just wonderful. This is the back section here for the pedal board. And of course, the springs, which are essential. Okay, so I guess we're just going to wait until we get the third box, hopefully tomorrow. Then we can open that up and see what we've got. And then we'll sort of figure out from there. What I'm going to do is give a read through the instructions today and make sure that I know what I'm doing. And... Um, Make sure I have all the necessary tools, and then we'll take it one step at a time. So here's the keyboard uh, packed up. Uh, some of the screws were using a new kind of bit that I don't have, which is, I think it's called a multi-bit, but I can't remember. Uh, it's been packed quite well, though. It can't move at all inside this box, so it's really well packaged. Okay, well, let's uh, come back. Get it all apart and we'll have a look. Okay, there's the keyboard out of the box. Um, it was a little tricky getting it out, but it was put into the box quite well so it couldn't move during shipment. Uh, it's got kind of a strange plug on the end, of the MIDI plug. Um, I'm ga guessing that probably in the box that we haven't got yet is maybe some kind of a junction box that goes to the regular USB MIDI plugs. I guess we're going to find out. All right, we got our uh, third box that we were waiting for. 
And uh, we've got some really interesting things here, which we will open in a minute. I'm guessing this probably are the two sides for the pedal board. I'm thinking these are the pedals with the sharp combs on them, and these are the remaining uh, naturals. So we'll come back after we open the bags. So we have the rest of the uh, the, the pedal board. Um, the uh, the wood is gorgeous. It is just beautiful. The oak is spectacular. Um, it's just really, my first impression is this is just really extraordinary, extremely well made. It's just really something. And the other thing too, which is interesting now, actually having them to look at, I never realized that the, the sharp combs were sized, I think probably, uh, so that it's easier for the organist for their foot to reach the sharp combs as they go farther out of the crescent. So that's interesting having not actually playing them myself, I was totally unaware of that. But the combs are just beautiful. They're really, really pretty. The wood is gorgeous. Um, as I said before, I think this is a type of ponderosa pine, but I'm not sure. Uh, so far, so far so good. I'm very happy. This is wonderful. Lily likes it too. So I thought I would uh, show all of the pieces of the pedal board. Uh, it's pretty extraordinary. The, uh, the pieces. It's hard to believe this is all going to come together as one thing. There's all the uh, sharp combs, some of the naturals, these are the pieces that are for the sides, the, uh, the wood is just gorgeous, it's really incredible wood. And then here's the back section of the pedal board, and then these are the naturals, and again the wood is just spectacular, it's really something. I guess you could say it's, uh, if you can see it there or not, but it's beautifully quilted. It's gorgeous wood. So anyhow, everything is ready to get, uh, Laura's going to put some urethane on everything. Everything where your, her foot comes into contact. Anything close to the electronics, we're just going to leave alone. We don't need to do that. And Lily thinks it's really beautiful too, don't you, Lily? Yeah, she does. The sharp combs are ready to be painted. All painted. First coat of urethane. Okay, everything is ready to go. Everything's urethane. Um, the sharp combs are painted, and we're ready for assembly tomorrow. Here, move it around.
can see how beautiful the wood is. It's just incredible. Really something. I kind of think the wood now looking at it again, it could be ash as opposed to being oak. Look at it. I think it could be ash, you know. Looking at it closely, you know. There. I think it's ash. Anyhow, we're all set to go. Just have to put it all together. And that'll be uh, part two. See you then.